Hey everyone, today we'll be looking into meshing and airfoil geometry with the icing structure. While going to higher altitudes, due to temperature and pressure difference, small ice is formed along the edges. This ice, which is formed at the edge of a fuselage or wing, are irregularly shaped structures. However, the icing geometry is topologically same as the regular airfoil. Since GridPro is a topology-based grid generator, we will first analyze the mesh generated with a block structure similar to the one of the 2D airfoil tutorial, for which the link is attached below. This is the grid generated when we replace the airfoil with an icing airfoil. In the mesh generated, we can notice that the curvature on the icing structures is not captured well. To capture them better, we need to locally modify the block structure. Instead of manually editing the block structure, we will use a feature called forward nest. The nesting operation only works on a valid topology. So let's check the validity of the topology before we proceed further. The forward nest creates a local nesting loopback structure of blocks without changing the number of blocks in the far field. For nesting to work, we need a one-to-one -one connectivity between the low density and high density group. The high density region is where new blocks will be created and the blocks in the low density region are maintained as it is. The block facing closer to the airfoil surface will be the high density region and the block facing at the further end will be low density region. The high density faces are grouped in C2 and the low density group in C3. In addition to this, we need to input a direction group which basically defines the direction in which you need the refinement. I'm grouping this edge to corner group C1 which indicates that the refinement happens along this edge direction. And the next step is to set the refinement level. I'm going to choose two levels of refinement. If we increase the refinement level, more layer of blocks will be added. Adding more block layers would increase the grid generation time. Clicking on apply creates the nested structure. I'm going to run the gridding process for about 3000 sweeps. This could vary for each case. The nested grid captures the geometry more accurately as compared to the earlier topology. The nesting creates a local loopback structure which creates a local refinement of both blocks and the cells. Since the surface setting has the first cell height specified, the boundary layer is also created. This concludes our tutorial for today. The case files are attached in the description. Do try out the case and let us know your feedback. If you have any questions on the steps or any comments, feel free to leave it below or write to us on support at quidpro.com. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, leave us a like and subscribe to the channel for new videos. Follow us on our social media pages. The links are posted in the description.